So these medals, I've got one here, um, they are made of recycled plastic and so it's a really good way to use plastic that otherwise would have ended up in landfill. Um, and we've got these machines called precious plastic machines that shred uh, the plastic um, and turn out like this. What's really cool is an event like Super League is obviously connected to the ocean and that's Protect Blue, that's our thing, we're an ocean agency, so to do something that can make a difference and that can uh, have a positive impact and just get people thinking about about um, you know where where our plastic goes and, and how we can use it in different ways and make it valuable rather than something we just want to throw away. I think that um, you know the hope is that first thing is it just makes people a bit curious and they have a think about it when they see it um, and they start to look at their use of plastic in their day-to-day -day life and the, the thing I think for us one of the biggest messages, it's not about getting rid of plastic altogether, that's almost impossible, but getting rid of single-use plastic is a really easy thing to do. Um, and so maybe this might be the, the moment that someone makes that decision. I think we're, we're quite lucky because we're an island and we're self-governed, which means we, you know, we have a fair amount of influence on what happens. And our government here in Jersey are really proactive in, in so much as single-use plastic and sustainability as a whole. Um, and we've been part of a movement called Plastic Free Jersey, which is alongside Surfers Against Sewage. So um, working really hard to work with local businesses and schools and community groups to get rid of all their single-use plastic. So yeah, I think right now we're, we're leading the way in the UK, which is, which is awesome.